Okay, I've just noticed in this area around our house that um, we've been getting some efflorescence inside on the concrete underneath the floorboards and I've just come to sort of dig up these old pavers that are sitting here and we didn't buy the house that long ago so we don't really know about it but see down here you've got the brick and the slab and you've got like a moisture barrier just here and then the slab and there's another moisture barrier just here down here but it's it's just rotten so this should curl up a little bit protecting the slab here but it's just all broken away and over the over the years mainly probably due to moisture I'd say so I'm gonna attempt to just fix that up a little bit and make it a little bit better easy thing to do just pretty simple just um, quick fix for yourself if you can't afford to get someone else in to, to do it for you in the meantime see how you go with it if it works for you that's great if not you might have to call a professional but otherwise we'll give it a go okay so I've dug a little bit of a trench not very deep just a couple of inches along the wall here and you can buy this this moisture barrier stuff from Bunnings, pretty cheap. Just a plastic, comes on a roll. Take a bit of that in there. My idea is, I'm gonna just, once we get it un untangled, yes, I'm just gonna put that barrier along front of the concrete there and a couple inches down below the dirt All right. and I'll cut it about here this is the main problem area and uh, what I'll do I'll put a bit of concrete in here I'll put like I don't know three inches out two inches high just a little strip of uh, concrete throw in there hold that That'll hold that nicely against the wall there. And that way at least any moisture coming in from, from this direction here um, isn't gonna be directly getting onto the brick, any onto the slab anyway. So that should help out a little bit. I'll touch back in base in a minute. Okay, so we've got a little ditch here now. Just created myself a little area to bury that um, moisture barrier. Okay. Put the moisture barrier in position. Cut it size. So be there would be. You cut that to size. And just use some tent pegs, something like that. A couple of bits of steel or whatever you got. Tim. 
picks, you just hold it there. Go down deep enough for the tent peg so when you put your concrete in there, the concrete will cover up the tent peg. You might hit a rock every now and again. Just move the tent peg across a bit, an inch or so. And there's a good chance you'll miss that rock the next time. There you go. Doesn't really matter if there's a bit of bow in it or whatever. And you just continue to do that all the way along until you've got it where you want it. In the meantime, you can just push a little bit of dirt there to help hold it temporarily. Put a bit of dirt across the bottom that you pulled, put to the side when you pulled it all out. Just chuck the air, and that's held reasonably nicely now. And that's pretty much a couple more tent pegs, and we'll just pour in a, in a slither of concrete in there, hold it in, and should make it a lot better. Okay, now we've got our moisture barrier laid in. Just put a bit of water in your bucket, get a bit of concrete, make it mix up a bit of concrete. I use this high strength concrete mix um, quite a lot. You can walk on it in four hours, it's workable for an hour. Um, it's got a very high MPA, high strength rate. Uh, you can drive on it with car even, so it's good I like to use it. Good all around it, you could use rapid set or just cheap, cheaper stuff. Whatever. Just keep adding concrete mix to its, you know, nice and Toothpaste texture, a bit thicker. Okay, that looks really good. Up and it's just falling nicely. Some sticking to it, some falling off nice. It's, um, yeah, a bit like porridge. Anyway, that's the mix. I don't know if you can see that or not. So, mix there, yeah, it's not quite nice. So, we just go along. Yeah. Shake. 
Just use a trowel, any trowel do, doesn't matter. Um, this is an edging trowel, but flat trowel. Um, to be honest, if you've got nothing, you can take off your thong and just push it all up there with your thong or something like that. It's, it doesn't have to look pretty. It's, um, it's not a cosmetic thing. It's more of a structural thing, so. And just push that against the, push it all up against that moisture barrier. Push that excess there in. The edging tool's really good. Um, just put the flat edge against the wall and a curved edge, and you get a just, just a nice, quick and easy finish on it. It's beautiful. So that's, the, that's basically the end result there. Nice, and then. And just bury that up with um, dirt, yes, dirt or whatever, and put lawn back over it, or or you could, um, you know, use sand and pavers, whatever you're doing in the area. But that's that's a lot better than all that water now going directly onto the slab. You know, the water that comes down this area now will, you know, seep down into the ground here where my finger is, and won't have any direct contact with that slab. So that's that's a lot better. It's a lot better and um, I know it's going to help for sure um, had some sort of little bit of experience with this sort of stuff so I know it's going to help but um, we'll see how it goes if I have a problem I will um, call a professional but in the meantime you can save yourself a lot of money so good luck with that hope this has helped you out and please watch my other videos it's a bit astray from my fishing videos but um, check them out as well and uh, click the like and subscribe and support the channel. It's great. Thanks. Thanks for watching.